what's up guys and welcome to my summer car if you guys thought streamer life simulator was weird quirky yet awesome this game definitely takes the cake it's basically streamer life sim but without all the streaming and a little bit more focus on the cars which I myself am a fan of so hopefully you guys enjoy this series if you do make sure you leave a like on the video it'd be greatly appreciated but let's get right into it all right so right off the bat here we have last name first name license number signature of holder so i i think when we type in our name there we go it should add our signature automatically now you may notice that it says finland up here suomi finland i have no idea if that's a real place or if that actually exists but this game has been developed by a finnish company so most everything hasn't been translated other than the menu screen literally everything else is in finnish so you can already tell this is going to be just fan freaking tastic last name i'm gonna do 2g first name we'll just use my name gauge 2g sure that's that's my new last name now granted 0306 of 1995 little bit older than myself but that's all right also if you're wondering what the frowny face up here is if i click it this happens yeah we're just gonna leave that off uh, probably for the entirety of the game your picture here go to slash images folder and replace mugshot png dude should we should we take a mugshot let's take a mugshot photo real quick before we get too far ahead of ourselves okay it's got to be 256 by 256 so i'm just going to take this screen grab here and uh we'll kind of shrink it in photoshop but let's do the worst photo possible i'm just going to do the the ugliest smile ever actually hang on let me get a fake mustache too that'll definitely make this all right here we go basically we have we have some sweet glasses we got this fake mustache that we used in the american truck simulator video that honestly doesn't have very much uh sticky residue left to adhere to my face but let's do this let's do this real quick like okay i have updated it uh-oh it's probably gonna make us restart isn't it yep that's exactly what's gonna happen okay here we go dude that is the best photo i've ever taken and then we also have an option down here called permanent death i'm gonna leave that on because i feel like it'll make things a little bit more interesting as you guys can probably tell as well there are a couple of mods installed just to sort of help things along you know make make our lives a little bit easier it's not the most polished game kind of like streamer life simulator so anything would help anything would be an uh, an upgrade here what is going on are we just like waking up or something god that's pretty loud huh <laughs> Oh no. We've just been birthed in the back seat of a car, which is just just the greatest thing. Good god, that looks disgusting. Oh hey, that's actually that's our car that we get to use later on in the game, I'm pretty sure. It looks the same as the one in the in the intro. But here we go, we're in Finland in 1976. Gage was born. Oh, you know what I should have named our character? Last name McCockner. First name Barry. It looks like all the mods have loaded up successfully. Let's go ahead and uh, and just move our mini-map over. We're gonna have to do that every single time we load into the game. So uh, it's gonna get kind of annoying, but it's a very, very useful mod to have so let's take a look around just kind of get our bearings today you know figure out the lay of the land how to how to actually do things that type of stuff we got uh Kur kurumas no idea what that is and then another thing loyal loyal darkness no idea what that is got a basketball up there and then a ball field not garfield ball field little uh little chandelier in our bedroom can we use the boom box over here actually I don't want to turn that on because I don't know how to turn it off. So then we'd just be super annoyed the whole time. Okay, so this is home though. 
We've got a map of everything over here. So this is what the mini map is based off of, of course. Got a landline right here. Dude, look at this place. It's actually pretty nice. It's a little outdated, but keep in mind this is 1995. So box televisions were kind of just a normal thing. Flat screens didn't really exist or plasmas, I guess. Can we pick this stuff up? What is that? What is that thing? Why can't I interact with any of this stuff? Maybe there's maybe there's things we have to do beforehand. Ooh, we got a scale over here, dude. We can actually weigh ourselves. 80 definitely not pounds. I don't know what the what the measuring unit is in in Finland, but we're definitely heavier than 80 pounds. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, save and quit is done at the toilet. Hang on, P is to actually P, which is kind of great. Just a little few little droplets right there. We'll see more about that uh feature later on I'm sure but this is our bathroom pretty nice everything's at least clean whereas in like streamer life simulator you start in the dirtiest most disgusting place possible wait is that an outdoor light oh we have like a little uh little breezeway here this is the patio door or the door to the deck I suppose and then through this one we have a shower a very large shower as well that's good to see. And then we have a sauna. Cool. And then look. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The uh, the temperature meter is totally normal. Everybody has that in their sauna. Well, all right. I think that about does it for the house. We have a refrigerator here with a little notes. Don't be lazy. Fix your dad's old car. Uncle's blue van can be loaned. Don't drink alcohol. We will come back when we get bored. Yours, mom and dad. Okay some mom and dad we got let's check this door nothing that must just be our pantry all right cool well we do have some brewskis over here we also have what appears to be a a notepad of some sorts don't know when we're gonna have to use that our thirst level is going up should we try a brewski we'll crack a cold one there it goes Ooh, and now our our urine level is rising lovely all right Let's open up this bathroom door and then let's try to use that uh, that P function. See if we can get a little bit better looking stream here. Oh, that is miles better, dude. Legendary. All right. So we figured out a couple of the base mechanics of the game so far. And then this is our power meter. So I'm assuming we're going to have to like pay bills and stuff. Maybe, but uh, this is our car, man. What's cool about this too is the developers knew somehow that I was going to play this game and they added in this little feature right over here. You can see 2G right there. And then it says subscribe to 2G on YouTube. Of course, the devs didn't put that in, you guys. I, I did a little uh, Photoshop editing on the decals, I guess you could say, on the car. And uh, they've been adjusted as well as our sweet little, um, I don't even know. It's not a Honda Grom. It's too old to be a Grom. I know there's motorcycles that look this vintage. I just can't think of the name of them. But on the back seat, it says 2 and G. And then all over the side and everything, it says 2G on it. I could have made the red, pink, or yellow, or whatever. But I didn't want to take the time to do that. But pretty sick, dude. We got some custom things already going on. And, not to mention, we have a custom shop flag in here. So basically, picture Streamer Life Sim and Car Mechanic Simulator. And just really f And you're left with this game, My Summer Car. So as you can tell, we have a bunch of uh, kind of just random parts strung about our garage out here. We have an engine crane, which I haven't figured out how to use yet. But uh, I'm sure we'll use that for something. Now, I've been informed with this game, it's really, really difficult to get started. There isn't actually a tutorial that you can follow. So I've been instructed, and I have a list here. I've been instructed to get a couple of things. First, an alternator belt, four bottles of brake and clutch fluid, DOT three or four, I'm sure. Two gallons, maybe, of motor oil, two gallons, again, question mark, of coolant, a new battery, two stroke fuel, I'm not sure how much, spark plug box, a bulb box, which I don't know if that's like bulbs for the house or bulbs for the car, I'm assuming car. A case of beer, again, because you can't ever have too many cases of beer. 12 sausages, a uh, pack of cigs, of course. 18 liters of gas and 40 liters of diesel 
fuel. Those are the things that we have to get first and first mostly. But again, we're not going to be doing anything too crazy today. I figure we'll just kind of get the lay of the land, figure out what does what and how to do things. And then tomorrow, we'll actually start on our uh, grand adventure. That's going to be my summer car. So, like I mentioned, this is our whip right here. Now, the cool part about the whip is the fact that you get to use this. An actual floor jack. Now, the only way to move it is to grab it by the base and make sure that it's lowered completely. So, if we do that, we should be able to... We should be able to... Oh, we're using tools. There we go. We should be able to move it. And let's just bring this over right in front of the car. We'll jack it up from the frame right here. Seems good. There we go. Just a couple inches off the ground. Nothing too crazy. Just enough so that we can put our subframe in. And if we crouch down, we should be able to see a check mark. Once we see that, we just click again and boom, it's installed. Now, one of the other mods that I went ahead and added to the game is a bolt size checker because it's very, very annoying to look at this bolt, for example, and realize, oh, I don't have the right size wrench for that. And then you go back to the tool bag. You grab a different size. Nope, still not the same. Yada, yada, yada. So this should help us out a ton and just make our lives way, way simpler. So now that we've got our spanner set out, if we switch back to tools again and we grab ourselves a size 10, I'm assuming millimeter spanner, we can then focus in on the four bolts that hold this subframe, the undercarriage to the car. We'll get those fastened down. There's two on each side. I will say, too, crouching in this game is, is really difficult to wrap your head around because it's like a two-stage crouch, right? You have, you have completely standing up straight, you have slightly crouched, and then you have basically slav squat to the max. So it's kind of difficult to cycle through them efficiently, but uh, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Where is this other bolt? Oh, there it is. Perfect, dude. Perfect. So if you say, let's get the... Um, the steering rack, for example, should be right over here somewhere. If you were to try to put the steering rack in without fastening down the subframe, it would just kind of throw everything everywhere and uh, you'll have a bad time. Oh, and I accidentally just added something to my backpack, which is another mod that should come in handy as well. I don't know how to retrieve things from the backpack, though. A few moments later. Okay, I've already made a huge mistake. Hang on a second. There's mod settings. Let me go to backpack. And we'll check key binds. Drop all items left control and Y. Drop selected item, just Y. Okay, that seems easy enough. So we have steering rack selected. We'll hit Y. Boom, drops it on the ground. Perfect. There's definitely going to be a bit of a learning curve here for sure, as you guys can probably tell. But it should be well worth it. I mean, I'm thinking we can get this thing assembled in no time. Okay, see, that's a size 9. I have a 10 mil in my hand, so that's not going to fly. But I think we should get this figured out pretty quickly, and uh, hopefully we can get this car on the road in no time flat, because getting just this first car done is probably the thing that takes the most amount of time. All right, there we go. So that's all we're going to probably do today is just get the steering rack in and the subframe. I figure it's a halfway decent start. The other stuff is honestly just the rest of the suspension components here. We have an exhaust pipe down there. We have the bodywork on the right side of the shop over here, as well as the uh, the seats, the interior for the car. Tail lights, headlights. Ooh, we need this. Uh, we need this jerry can. I cannot forget about this jerry can, dude, for when we have to go inevitably to the store and fill up with gas and diesel and all that good stuff. But enough lollygagging, dude. Enough just kind of chit chatting, figuring out the bare minimum here. Let's let's. Oh God. <laughs> Let's hop on this thing, and let's see just how far we can go. Another mod. Oh god, hang on. There should be like a fuel trim thing. There we go. Little little fuel tap. Here, let's actually exit driving mode, and I'm gonna crouch down. It looks like reserve is up, off is in the middle, so we're on right now, right? No, that would be on. Wait, I don't know. I don't remember how these work. I think this is on. That it doesn't sound right. Let's just do this. Who cares, right? <laughs> Who cares? Either way, it's going to work just fine. We should probably be wearing a helmet, but we're not going to because we're better than that. This ain't our first rodeo. Oh, there we go, baby. All right, we got her started up. Let's trip the kickstand. 
This thing sounds... Oh, yeah, it's very loud. Oh, no. Okay, just, um, just do me a favor. Cover your ears really quick. All right, we'll get the audio levels adjusted eventually. Maybe. So shift with G. There we go. First gear. First gear. We are out of here, dude. Freaking Audi. All right, we're at about a half tank, so I don't think we'll have to do much exploration today. We're going to, of course, have to get some some fuel if we want to continue exploring. Is that a sailboat out there? What is that thing? What the heck is that? Off in the distance. Oh, it's like a like a cell tower. Okay. Put her back into neutral. Shut the engine off. Kick stand again. And then enter to exit driving mode. Dude, look at that. We got her all figured out already. Okay, we got two little lights over here that I don't know if they ever turn on, but this must be our boat. I've been told there is a proper way to fish, and it looks like we got our fishing rod right here, dude. And then this must be our fish finder, so we can probably just fill this boat up with gas, take it out on the lake here, catch some delicious bass, bring her home, slice her open, fry it up in a pan. I don't know. Honestly, guys, the possibilities for this game are kind of endless because I haven't looked into it whatsoever. So um, most everything here is going to be a complete and total surprise to me. You guys know that's kind of how I like to do things. So let's hop back on this bad boy Billy right here. Johnez? Juanez? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Okay, kickstand again. And then reverse. Should just be foot reverse. Which is weird that I'm turning left to go back into the right, but totally fine. You have to basically give it full throttle at all times. Here we go, to shift. Nice, all right. We got it. Oh no, oh no, keep her up, keep her steady. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're swinging by home really quick. Don't lay it over, that would not be good. I'm not wearing a helmet. Let's stick to second here, because it seems a little quieter. There's something back behind our house that I want to go check out as well. I love how skinny these roads are too. Okay, coming up on whatever this place is. We have uh, like an old shell of a car over there with a big tractor tire. We have like a, a semi-frame chassis. Oh, we got a tractor. We got a freaking tractor. And I think I just found our diesel jug. I was having a hard time finding that earlier, and I think... Sorry. Oh, God. I can hit. I can hit. We can punch. Oh, my. Dude, this is amazing. Okay, I've just found out so many cool things about this game in literally two seconds. Where's my kickstand at? There we go. Let's hit enter again. Okay, so right over here in this, uh, what I think is a barn. I don't know if it belongs to us or not, but it looks like... There's a little fuel canister over here, and it's for diesel. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna bring this back to our house. We have a trailer, an empty trailer, resting on a... I thought that was a paint can. It looks like it's a, a chunk of wood. Speaking of wood, we have a monstrous wood pile over here. I don't know how to use this axe. Should we try to... Should we try to use the axe? What do I just... Just tap... Just tap the log? Oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> well, um... I guess we're a pro already, just like that. I love just how slav squat we are right now. What do we do with this? We got a wood carrier. Do we just... Okay, we just put it on the wood carrier? That seems a little too easy. Right there. All right, two pieces of cut wood already on the wood carrier. And then what do we do with this? Because we can pick this up. Would we put this in the trailer by chance? I don't know, dude. We're gonna. I'm going to have to like look up a ton of stuff because... Honestly, this game without a tutorial is really, really confusing. But uh, let's check out this tractor. We can open up the door to the tractor. Do we just climb? We just climb on in here? Oh my god, we just climb in, dude. Enter for driving mode, maybe? Or is there no driving mode in the tractor? Oh, it. Yep, here we go. Enter driving mode. Diff lock. Jesus Christ. Hand throttle. Oh no, dude. Can we even turn this thing on? It's got. It's got lights. It's got wipers. Dude, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Ignition. Try it again. Oh, maybe dead battery. Yep. Kind of seems like maybe dead battery. Maybe it's just out of diesel. I'm not really sure. 
But let's go ahead and hop out of the tractor. Dude, that's pretty fresh. We have an actual tractor we're going to be able to use for something. I don't know what. Ooh, let's turn those lights off. Uh, whoops. Let's turn those lights off. There we go. Conserve whatever battery we have left in that thing. All right. Let's get on the Juanes. I'm just going to call it a Juanes. And uh, hopefully we can carry something while we ride it. There we go. Okay, let's move forward. Just a, a scooch here. Just, just, okay, that's not going to work. And now, if we enter driving mode, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got her all figured out now. So you can, surprisingly, carry something while riding the bike. I've been told that taking the boat to the store rather than this little moped thing is probably the easiest route. So uh, perhaps in the next episode or something, we'll take both these fuel canisters over, uh, over the lake to the store. And hopefully... Oh, dude, our character must be invisible because there is no shadow being cast of a person riding this bike right now. All right, great. We killed it again. Okay, so note to self, the Juan Ace is very, very difficult to pilot. And uh, we can maybe hold stuff sometimes. Let's see. We got thirst levels. Okay, so we can drink beer to get our thirst levels back to where we need to be. There's also milk in the refrigerator. Let's see what that does for us. Looking a lot better already. Hunger's even going down too. Okay, so when we're done with things, we just yeet them into the corner. And uh, I guess that's our trash. I also didn't realize we have 3,000 bucks starting out. So that's pretty sweet. All right, there's one more thing I want to check out here, and that is how do we use lay shower? I think the shower's through here. Let's see, how do we uh, how do we actually turn this thing on? Just like this, and then and then what? Is that is that all we? Oh, here we go. Okay, now pull the shower thing. This is sick, dude. All we have to do is just stand under the shower head, and it's gonna clean us off. Okay, this is already cooler than Streamer Life Sim. And I apologize that I'm going to be comparing these two games, but they are just so similar that uh, I can't not do it. Okay, so we're a little fatigued as well. So how do we do this? We got a dipper and we have a water bucket. Let's maybe fill the water bucket up. It's probably a good idea. So let's just drop that. Start this thing up. Fill the water bucket up a little bit. Kind of be, it'd be nice if we could drink this. I don't think we can. Ew. Our urine level is going up so quick just watching this. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, drop the bucket down. Now, we have our ladle. We're gonna, we're gonna use our dipper and dip it somehow. Okay, we've, we've got water in this maybe. And then sprinkle the water on the, on the coals that, I don't even know if they're turned on yet. I'm not really sure how this works. Ooh, it's going up. The temp is rising. It's probably because we don't have the door shut. I, honest to God, cannot tell if that needle is going up or not. So I'm going to assume it's not. Oh, here we go. See something down here. Stove timer, stove thermostat. So we can... Is it on? Dude, it's on. All right. And then thermostat. Should we just crank her up? There we go. Completely maxed out. Thermostat's pretty low still. Okay, let's grab our ladle again. Try scooping up some water. Spreading it on the coals. I don't know how to do this accurately is the only thing. The needle does not appear to be moving. Doesn't appear to be moving at all. All right. Well, we're just gonna, we're gonna wind these things down. There's literally no reason we need to be in here other than I was hoping it would kind of relieve a little bit of our stress. But uh, we'll just have to go pick up couple more packs of smokes. Now we should be able to really take a whiz. This is looking fantastic already. Stress level is about a quarter of the way. A little bit over a quarter, I'd say, actually. Hunger is doing all right. And uh, fatigue is a little bit over a quarter as well. Fatigue and stress kind of seem like the same thing to me, but maybe they're not, I guess. Oh, we're not done. I thought we were finished. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save and quit to the menu. What an interesting concept. What a very interesting, totally wacky, weird game so far. But I think we're going to wind things down here for now. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. 
leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.